there are plenty of options under five dollars so 25 dollars worth of product under five dollars good morning guys this morning i got up threw my hoodie on still got my pajama pants on actually brand a dollar general because i wanted you guys to have these scenarios friday morning i did do part of this video yesterday i'm gonna add those clips in at the end of this video i tested out the instant savings called the corporate office all that kind of stuff um so check that out and then we're also talking about ordering coupons online later in the video but i want to give you some scenarios so last night i wrote a bunch of scenarios um, we used to give you like tons of options and that's what i was trying to do some of them are intentionally just low out of pockets with like the cheapest items that we have as right low now as 20 cents plus tax some of the scenarios are all digital some are using paper and digital coupons some are I think you could do all paper some are just dog food scenarios some are laundry detergent with baby diapers just a lot of different options for you guys there are plenty of options under five dollars so twenty five dollars worth of product under five dollars smoke and dill good old janet did um point this out to me yesterday uh, and a lot of you have trouble at your store they want to scan all your items take all your coupons and use the five off 25 last janet sent this to us yesterday she had actually read this um i didn't i just assume i know what it says i should read it but anyway, it says scan or enter promotion code for this coupon before manufactured coupons. So if your store tries to make you use the 5 off 25 after manufactured coupons, um, just have them read the coupon. And this is just the in-store ad. So there's no digital 5 off 25. Just come in store and, and get a sales paper. And they're right on front here. We're going to start with the gain scenario. Our 5 off 30 gain scented item coupon expires Saturday, January 26th. So I'm going to give you a breakdown using this coupon. In this particular breakdown, we're not using it with the 5 off 25 or anything. This is solely gain product. Just in case you don't want to see all the breakdowns, I'm going to put you uh, some timestamps in the description box so you can skip through the video and find what you want to find. First, we're picking up a Gain dishwashing liquid. These are 21.6 ounce. They cost $2. We currently have a 50 cent digital coupon. By the way, this first breakdown is all digital. So we're also picking up two of the Febreze with Gain plugs. These are $5 each. You'll need a total of two. Do not get the ones that are clearanced for $4.50. It'll throw off your total. So just go ahead and get the $5 Febreze plugs. Make sure they're Gain scented. We have this $5 off two Febreze plug scented oil refill products, Dollar General Digital Coupon that we're using. Next, we're going to be picking up a Febreze $3 product that is gain scented. It can be the Febreze Air 8.8 .8 ounce, the Febreze Small Spaces, a Febreze Wax Melt, or a Febreze Car Clip. Again, just make sure it's gain scented. Those are $3. We have a $1 digital coupon. We're going to pick up a Gain Liquid Detergent 25 load. These are on sale this week for $3.95. We have a $1 Gain Dollar General Digital Coupon. We're also going to be picking up a Swiffer Wet that's Gain Scented. You can either get the 10 or 12 count. These are $4.50. We have a $1 Swiffer digital coupon that we're using. The next two items we do not have coupons for. We're going to get a Gain Firework 6.7 ounce. They're on sale for $3.95. We're also picking up a Gain Liquid Fabric Enhancer. These are 48 load and again on sale for $3.95. All of these items get our total up to $31.35. So we're going to have the cashier scan all of our items first. Then you'll put in your Dollar General digital coupons. Your 5 off 30 gain scented item digital coupon will come off. And then we have $7.50 worth of digital manufacturer coupons that will come off. We'll pay $18.85 plus tax. Averages out to $2.36 per item and uh, I looked on coupontom.com it said that some of us got dollar off one coupons for the gain fireworks and the liquid fabric enhancer in the one six retail me not if you have paper coupons for those absolutely use those coupons 
If you want to use the 5 off 30 and the 5 off 25 together, have the cashier scan all of your items, hand over your paper 5 off 25 first, then put in your digital coupons, your 5 off 30, and your digitals will come off and then hand over any paper manufacturer coupons if you're using any, like in this breakdown. So I'm not gonna show you the in-store breakdown for each breakdown or scenario because that would just take way too much time. I wrote way too many. Um, but here I wanna explain this really quickly. We're getting the Gain Dish and then we're getting a total of four Febreze scented oils. Um, and then we're also using that three off three Gain coupon from the January PNG. That coupon says that you have to get a Gain Fabric Softener and a Gain Flings. So in this breakdown, we're getting two Gain Flings and then one Gain Fabric Softener. This is gonna get us up to $35.85. Hand over your paper five off 25 first, your five off 30 Gain coupon. You're using 13.50 in uh, manufacturer coupons, digital and paper, and you're gonna pay $12.35 plus tax, which comes out to $1.54 per item. There are more gain breakdowns, so I'll tell you what, I guess I'll just post all of these on my website, poweredbycoupons.com. Just wait for it to load, scroll down, and look for the 5 off 25 breakdown post and all of the scenarios that I have in this video will be in that post and then some additional scenarios. By the way, guys, we do have this uh, spend 15, get a $5 coupon promotion going on at Dollar General. The way it's printing on receipts is very unpredictable. So I'm not going to count on that in any of these breakdowns, but it could possibly print, especially with the gain scenarios. We've been talking about all of these deals the last couple of weeks, so I don't really feel the need to go in store and show you all of these items. Some of these digital coupons are no longer available and you might not have them or your store might be out of the item, which is why I'm gonna give you a ton of options that you can do. This is your lowest possible out of pocket that I could get you. Uh, you're picking up a Airwick warmer unit, $1.50, $1.50 digital coupon, a bag of Skinny Pop, the smaller bags of course, those are a dollar a dollar digital coupon two of the suave sleek or rosemary shampoo and conditioner those are three dollars each but we have that five off two digital coupon that we're using and then the two off six store coupon i counted those as four dollars because of the store coupon um so just roll with it two of the zebra pins those are two dollars each we have a three off two digital coupon, six Bella dog food trays. Those are 3.5 ounce, six equals $3.90. There's two fifty off six Bella dog food trays digital coupon. We are also getting 12 more Bella dog food trays. Uh, that's seven eighty. There's a five off 12 digital coupon. We're also gonna pick up an always discreet 26 count liner. These are $3. There's a $2 digital coupon. All of these items get you up to $25.20. You can use your five off 25. You're gonna use, again, that two off six Suave Dollar General Store coupon. You're using $20 in digital manufacturer coupons. You would pay 20 cents plus tax, which averages out to under, actually, one cent per item. I wanted to give you another low out of pocket without getting the Bella dog food because a lot of the stores will be out or you might not have a dog. Um, this scenario is also using some paper coupons that we got in the Sunday newspaper. Uh, you would pay $1.80 plus tax for this one and it averages out at $0.16 cents per item. If your baby needs diapers, you can do this breakdown here. All of these items end up at $4.60 plus tax or $0.18 cent per item. You're technically getting diapers for $0.18. Cent. Pretty awesome deal. Since it's kind of boring to just read them off like this, I'm going to tell you guys to just go to the website, poweredbycoupons.com. There's a total of nine scenarios at the moment. I'll probably just add one more to make it 10, um, but lots of different options. So make sure you just go check that out. And here's the rest of the video. Hey guys, we're in Dollar General. As we know, because we talked about this for early activation, we have two instant savings going on. 
the spend 15 save three was supposed to have ended but now that we found tags this doesn't end until february 16th so this tag says spend 15 on participating kimberly clark items save three dollars instantly and then for this week only we have this instant savings that says save two dollars instantly when you spend ten dollars on any Scott Viva Cottonelle brand products. That one ends January 26th. Call the Dollar General corporate office. As long as both instant savings say any, then they should work together. So if we spent 15, ideally we would save $5 at the register. I recorded the call. I'm gonna play that for you. I recorded the call all right. There's just no sound, but it's okay. Later in the video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what they said. So obviously she told me if it doesn't come off, then tell the person at the register or call back the corporate office. So I'm gonna spend $15 on Scott and Cottonelle products. I'll show you what I get. And we're gonna see what happens at the register together. So I would like to note that this tag does say offers with like items could be combined. At the time I made the call to the Dollar General corporate office, I did not realize that it said that. But it still shouldn't matter. They still, according to her, should work together. Check out these coupon bags that are on sale for $4.50 this week. They do have a $2 coupon on the back that expires $1.120 on any pedigree dry dog food 3.5 pounds. I have two coupons for the Scott. I have a dollar off one and roller larger. I think it's also good on paper towels if I remember correctly and then I also have a two off two Scott coupon I know a lot of you don't have the dollar off one but you do have the two off two they have two different ones one's a bonus pack so I'm gonna get the bonus pack but it's 18 rolls of Scott and then I'm also getting two of the six large rolls of Scott paper towels I think these might be included in our clearance sale. We won't know until the day of the clearance sale, um, but I'm assuming that because it's talking about back to school. So I'm going to save that one at my store in case it is included so I can get it during the clearance sale for half price. With both coupons and the instant savings, if both instant savings comes off, we should pay $8.50 plus tax. I'm guessing only $3 is going to come off though. Um, so if that's the case, we'll pay $10.50 plus tax, which is a little high for me. I typically like to get my paper products down to at least $2.50 or under. By the way, I do have some other stuff in my cart. I am going to get this dog food because I have a bunch of puppies. I want to see if they like it. If so, I'm going to come back with the 5 of 25 and get all the bags they have with coupons on them. But I'm separating this transaction and only doing the Scott in this transaction. Hello. Yeah, can we? Yeah. Oh, okay. It took some off. It took some. It, see, it's supposed to take $5 total off, though. And it didn't. It took off. Yeah. I think $3 is what it took off, I think. See, right now, there is a spin 10, save 2, and there's also a spin. 15 save three so i called the dollar general corporate office and go. that's five dollars off well it was because my coupon but my store discount is supposed to be five dollars total why because there's a spend 10 save two is it a coupon digital no it's an instant savings where do you get that at it's supposed to automatically come off at the register. There's a spend 10, save 2, and there's also a spend 15, save 3. So, I called the corporate office. I you told me that. Yeah. yeah. And they said, if I spent 15, I should save $5. Store discounts, not my coupons. But we were up to a little bit over 15, and it come down to 13.50. Your total's 11.50. See, it's supposed to be 8.50. Plus tax. 
So it's okay if it doesn't come off and you don't, I mean, you don't take it I mean, off. I, I just. I can. I just don't know how to. I can. I'd have to parse over right here. See, and then that, that would be show. messing it up too because, yeah. It ain't right in the system. It should come right. off. Right. So I would rather just call them and say, hey, it didn't come off. Then you. What states that it comes off, though? Does something show that? It like, says if you buy any Scott, Cottonelle, or Viva. It's, on, it's back there on the wall. I'll have to look at that. Yeah. I, I'd like to do it too. They're double tagged. They double instant save, gave us two instant savings at the same time. I forgot to wear the mic in the store, so I hope you guys could hear okay. Um, so, guess what? I got the receipt as I get out here and take a look at it. And I realized now that the dollar off Scott coupon didn't come off. And the reason it didn't come off is because I got the bonus pack. Yesterday evening, Susan did a transaction and her dollar off coupon didn't come off either. So I don't know if it's because I got the bonus pack or if the dollar off coupon is no longer working. So was it worth it to get the bonus pack? Probably not. Especially if you have that dollar off coupon. If you don't have the dollar off Scott coupon, you can get the bonus pack if you want. You maybe, I don't know if you should do this deal because if the dollar coupon would have come off, it would have been 1050 plus tax for these three paper products. Now, regular price for all of these products would have been 1850. So you can pay 1050, which is better than 1850. But still not a good enough deal for us to all write home about it and um, stuff so need paper products there you go I guess I'll call the Dollar General corporate office and see what they say and I'll let you know the other day when I did this video a hundred of you asked me where I got my coupons from. I'm currently at the post office. I'm going to go to Dollar General and test a few things out. I had to stop and get my coupons from the post office. Hopefully they're here. I get my coupons from bqsavings.com. It doesn't make sense for everyone to order their coupon inserts online. It just depends on what's available and how much they cost in your area. Coupons are regional, so a lot of the times what you might get in your area, I don't get in mine. I happen to live, apparently, in one of the crappiest areas for coupons you guys might get five coupon inserts and I literally get two coupons no exaggeration legit our area sucks so for me it does make sense to order coupons online you might want to check with your Dollar Tree to see if they sell the Sunday paper a lot of the times that is a way better way to get your coupons so these coupons come out on Sunday it's currently Thursday and I haven't went and picked them up yet usually they do get in my mailbox on like uh, Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday um, but I just go whenever I get time and see if they're there but it just depends on what you order how much you pay BQ savings might not be right for you you can google search a coupon clipping service just be careful because I have been ripped off buying coupons before so we got them that's good news and it makes it pretty easy um, they do have a way where you can just go on there and order them weekly uh, even if you don't go with bqsavings.com and you pick somebody else to give you coupon inserts, I would definitely look for somebody who does a weekly thing. Um, a lot of the times you can get a discount too if you do it weekly as opposed to just ordering them every single week. And there we go. So pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy by the way you just have to go on their website and look at prices um, it depends on how many you order a week usually you're way better off if you're willing to get like 10 a week as opposed to like four a week 